Hello friend and uh, thank you for uh, watching my uh, YouTube channel and uh, thank you for your support. Uh, my YouTube channel's name is um, Alpha Sky Tech and I appreciate your uh, always your like and uh, subscribe and I appreciate your support for for the uh, channel. Uh, today I'm bringing you uh, a new video as the uh, introduction of uh, Windows Server 2025. Yes, believe it or not, it's 2025 new server. We currently have 2022, but Microsoft decided to put their new server name is 2025. Um, the server, and this as this article was published by uh, uh, by Jeff here. Uh, we'll see. Um, uh, um, it says introducing Windows uh, Server 2025. Today uh, we are thrilled to announce the uh, official name of the next release of uh, Windows Server. Uh, Windows uh, Server um, uh, 2025, Windows Server 25, is it driven by uh, your feedback and your uh, desire to embrace a hybrid, adaptive cloud? Uh, and uh, here are the few area we are uh, investing in. So um, basically, they are uh, investing in Windows Server uh, hot patching uh, for everyone. Um, uh, next generation um, Active Directory and SMB uh, file share. And uh, also mission critical data and uh, uh, storage and uh, Hyper-V uh, and uh, AI and much, much more. Um, so um, this is a kind of put this uh, link below uh, also for you to uh, read this. And uh, so the most important part of all this, you have to have a Microsoft account. That's a rule of thumb for Microsoft to have their products. And as this is going to be in review uh, and in beta process, so they, you are, they are requiring you to uh, go and register for Windows uh, Insider. Actually, that's what you need to have uh, first Microsoft account. And then you're going to go and to, I'm going to put the link below. You have to have an account with Windows Insider. And uh, after that, after uh, you click on the link that I'm uh, providing, you're going to go this to this area, and then you're going to um, select from these options. So there's a lot of options. Today, I'm going to select the first option, the Windows Server, uh, uh, VNX Preview ISO uh, <coughs> Canary uh, Build. I'm not going to select the uh, VHDX, although I'm going to install this uh, server on the Hyper-V. Uh, my, uh, my Hyper-V is here. And I'm going to install it here. Uh, luckily, I have some space on my uh, hard drive. And that's what I'm going to be adding this in there. So basically, um, what do you need to select? The reason I'm not selecting this, although this is going to be a VHDX uh, format, as you know, for uh, for uh, virtual machines. And that's what is usually used. But uh, that's if you have a standalone. Actually, you can use that. But I'm going to use this option here. And as you can see, and then I'm going to go ahead and confirm, and then it says validating. I'm going to go ahead and select the language, and we are in the United States. You can select other language as you preference. And so basically, you're going to click on uh, confirm. Once it's confirmed, and it's going to stay uh, say uh, download now, actually. So after clicking on uh, download now, uh, basically, it's going to go, and I'm going to planning to put this on my uh, download um, uh, folder in here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on uh, save. Uh, folks, this is all depend on your speed of your uh, network and, uh, uh, and the bandwidth also. And uh, the installation, it's pretty much going fast as far as I see. I have a um, uh, not bad, uh, you know, hotspot. Uh, which I use sometimes uh, mobile hotspots uh, when I'm performing, um, you know, uh, my job uh, or um, when I'm doing uh, the videos uh, tutorial. Sometimes I have my own hotspot to uh, utilize, and that's what I'm doing right now. And um, the download it's going not bad. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause and come back once it's uh, finished uh, from downloading. Actually. Okay, friend, uh, the download finally uh, finished successfully, and it's right here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, open my uh, um, Hyper-V manager. I'm going to go ahead and right-click here and go to New 
virtual machine as you can see i'm gonna go ahead select next i'm gonna name my virtual machine is uh when um server 2025 basically and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh, have a specific area that uh, this uh, um, um stored and you can have your own preference where you want it to be i have a dedicated area in my hard drive to store these things i'm going to go ahead and click on next <clears throat> this is an important part folks um, what i've seen from my um, years of experience now um, <clears throat> um, if you select generation two which that's what all of them uh, i've seen a lot of problem with the uh, with the booting you know with the loadings is going to go in there and uh, I've seen several things happening. So uh, we're going to stick to Generation 1. It does support, as you can see, this virtual machine uh, generation supports 32-bit and 64-bit guest operating system for now. Um, if you have something else, you know, um, this is very critical. So you can do that testing. Um, if you have a production environment, you can do that on a Generation 2 and follow up with Microsoft until probably they have a result. But I have several other videos before and i did um, um uh, different different videos on different programs that did not went well on generation two so i'm gonna stay with generation one in here so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and click on next i'll leave the ram as is i'm gonna go ahead um, uh, select an external switch i'm just gonna make sure you have a uh, 4 gig of RAM, which is fine. This is again, um, uh, you know, um, you can utilize uh, this, and you can uh, um, you can uncheck uh, uh, use dynamic um, uh, dynamic memory for this virtual machine, uh, but uh, you can keep it and you, or either either or actually you can um, deselect it. And either or, it's up to you. When you decide to, how much memory to assign to virtual machine, consider how uh, you uh, intend to um, <clears throat> to use virtual machine and the operating system that will uh, uh, run here. I will go ahead and keep that. Uh, have an external switch set up on this. I'll go ahead and select that. Um, for uh, the size, um, I will go ahead and uh, select. 20 gig i don't have a much of the space and that's what i have on this uh, uh computer and this is um you know we're doing this for testing only so uh i'll leave this at 20 instead of the uh maximum she said there is a maximum 64 tb terabytes but the, you know 127 was a um, default but i will go ahead with 20 right now gonna go ahead and um, click uh on next so i have a, a, a location where i can uh select my uh file right now and uh, i have a dedicated location as i uh, went to uh, download and that's the uh, location right here and i did select it i'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on next and finish and it's gonna go through uh the process of uh, setting up this and uh, basically it did load uh, successfully as you can see here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, and as you can see here it's right here i'm gonna go ahead and um, try to uh, connect to it i'm gonna go ahead and start And as you see that the common uh, process of uh, uh, loading the first time Windows is at is is, and probably you guys are familiar with it. And uh, you're gonna see this message here, please wait. And you're gonna select the language install and uh, the time location, which I leave it as is in here. I'm gonna go ahead and keyboard. Um, you're gonna leave it at uh, US and you have the choice of course and also you have the choice here to select your language and time the uh, and, and currency too and then we're gonna click on next
So here, uh, it's going to tell you what you want to do. You want to repair this. This is also, it's like usually um, you can uh, have this uh, ISO loaded on uh, uh, USB thumbs for the purpose of repair. You know, uh, you know that's that's one of the things you can uh, utilize it in here. So, folks, uh, I do agree everything will be deleted. I understand that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on Next. So now is the uh, important part, actually, of all this, and I'll provide the link. Uh, to get this, you have to be uh, registered uh, with Microsoft, as I said, and they will provide you uh, the product key uh, for you. And I uh, did have a uh, registration. I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, enter the uh, data center one. Uh, K-M-Q-W-H. Okay, so it says uh, it did not work. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, try to um, register um, for uh, another one and uh, let's see here so I'm gonna go ahead uh, for I don't have a product key I'm gonna go ahead and select the uh, uh, the data center um, from the, um, uh, the this option here um, I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, desktop experience. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Eventually, it's going to ask me for um, that, uh, folks, for um, the product key. Uh, and uh, we'll provide you. There is only one, which I found you. Uh, I went in there and I found it for you guys. So probably the um, it stopped working, but I'm going to uh, find out in a minute for you. Uh, so here it's uh, applica uh, applicable notice and license terms. You can accept that. And it's going to go ahead uh, as usual for the um, the common things. It says here the, uh, the hard drive, which I did select, and that's what it's going to be. I'm going to go ahead and click Next for that. And it's pretty much ready to install. You have... Uh, um, two options uh, this is pretty much new uh, it says here um, uh, you won't be able to uh, use uh, your pc during installation save close all the files uh, uh, before you begin and as you can see here everything as is shown go ahead click on install and it's going to start the process and I'm going to try probably here is going to ask me for that product key again. And I'm going to try to enter it. And that's the only one I've seen so far. And then this is going from uh, for the um, uh, installing uh, Windows Server right now at 6%, folks. Um, actually... Uh, pausing back and forth and still at 22% right now. I'll get back with you when it reach 100% or when it's going to ask for if ask for the uh, product ID yet. All right, folks, the uh, process of uh, installing is finished, is rebooted, and uh, this is again Windows Server 2025. And um, at the uh, point I'm going to enter the product key. Uh, this is a uh, one product key. So now this is a beta process is only um, trial let's put it this way and um, it still uh, says please uh, um, 
keep your uh, computer on, which I'm going to leave it as is and says installing again right here. And it's at the uh, 42%, as you can see, folks, right here. Um, still waiting for to finish. And hopefully this unique uh, product key is going to work. And that's what I have from Microsoft. And that's what has been provided in the Tech Community Center. I put it, put it below where you can uh, find it. And it's finished and it's rebooting again. As you can see here, and uh, this is the uh, products, and it says at 94%, as you can see, and um, still, um, there you go. This is the point where you have to uh, put the uh, product key. Let's do uh, the copy uh, and paste, and it did not actually uh, take it, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, input that. It shows two K and J J, and it shows here uh, three three Y uh, nine H uh, two G X G X K M Q W H. I'm hoping I'm, I'm writing it down right as you guys follow up with me. G6. Click on next. All right, it went through perfectly. So here it comes with the administrator. I'm going to go ahead and put a password for this. Just give me a second here, folks. And I'm putting, uh, finishing and putting my password. I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And it's going to go to uh, in the finalizing stage of uh, setting up my um, my server, as you know. So first time when you um, selected it did not go through. And here you go here, folks. And I'm going to go ahead, um, click control, all delete to log in to my 2025 uh, server. I don't want to do this here. There you go. Please wait uh, for uh, the user profile services. Applying users and here we go. We are in at uh, Windows Server 2025 right now, folks. This is a beta. Um, I'm just bringing you this to uh, let you know. I'll put uh, all the uh, necessary link for you. Um, but I'm going to give you just a, an insight of this, how it um, how it's looked like here. Um, this is the terms. As you know, Microsoft always have these things, uh, terms. Uh, you get uh, accept that. And... Um, there you go. It's just pretty much it looks the same like other servers, but um, there is, um, as I mentioned to you, uh, what it is going to come with. And as I mentioned to you, the, so um, the, this is come with the server uh, hot patching uh, for everyone, uh, next uh, generation uh, active uh, um, uh, Directory, um, SMB, uh, mission critical data and storage, Hyper-V and AI. So uh, pretty much uh, everything um, is going to be um, is going to be here. And uh, the look, it's different. I know the background you guys used to, but um, yeah, this is this is the 2025 folks. This is the server 2025 how to set up. And again, I will put everything down below the links, the all the links necessary for you to um, to to uh, try it. Um, and uh, that's all what I have, uh, folks. I want to thank you for uh, watching my YouTube uh, channel Alpha Sky Tech. And as I always appreciate your uh, like and subscribe. And have a great and wonderful day. Thank you.